All right, so before we get into one of the most stressful things in the hobby, diagnosing sick fish and trying to actually keep them alive, let's let's talk about uh, a few other things that are really important besides just medicine. So first, if you can, subscribe, like, leave a comment, try not to bash me too bad. But um, uh, I'm going to pick a few people out of the, the who subscribe, and I'm going to give you some credit for uh, uh, an order on my website. So yes, I sell fish at uh, justinsamazingcichlids.com I'm going to pick a few people uh, you're going to get basically a certain amount of money and credit on your order it's actually pretty affordable honestly especially if you want guys like this but anyway so if you don't really know much about uh, treating fish we're going to just break it down real simple let's say a fish is uh, I don't know twitching or he's got something going on with him basically these you know, this company's done pretty good about letting you know what does what. But uh, basically, if you, especially if you get new fish, it won't hurt to use this. Try not to use medication, though, because they can become immune to it. But uh, I don't care what medication you decide to use, please always use salt. Like, it's so important to use salt. And make sure it's salt. You don't have to use this salt. You can use, as long as it's just, it's just salt. The problem is, if you get all this salt... And it's got a, uh, it's got uh, other stuff in it, additives in it or whatever. You know, you gotta stay away from that. Okay, so basically, we're gonna treat uh, this. We're gonna pour in the tank. Obviously, uh, the smaller the tank, the more, the cheaper it's gonna be. This treats 100 gallons, a packet per, you know, 10 gallons. That's right. So basically, you know, but if you had to treat a whole tank like this, a six foot long tank, you know, obviously you, you can't just move all the fish in a 10 gallon. That would be a very bad idea. So you're going to have to fork out some money. But I promise you, before you have to go to the medicine, try the salt, potentially some temperature, depending on what's going on. If the temperature, you got like parasite problems externally, you can go with the temperature. Uh, so basically, salt, but don't do the dosing. <laughs> that they recommend. They recommend a very small dose. Uh, let's see. Yeah, they, one round a tablespoon for five gallons. Yeah, you wanna use a lot more than that. You can look that up. I don't wanna tell you, cause I don't know what fish you got. Some fish are sensitive to salt. But, so basically, this is gonna go in the tank directly. All right, so let's get into treating internal parasites. You're only gonna need these three things, basically. And some food, some blood worms, or really any food. Alright, so you're gonna pour this Metroplex, which is also in this, into a bowl with some food, blood worms, or any kind of food. This binds the food with the the medicine with the food. So for every one scoop of this, you're gonna do about two scoops of this. So if you do two scoops of this, you would do four, maybe four and a half scoops of focus. It's real simple, you just need Metroplex and Focus. All right, the garlic you put in the food, mix with this so they'll actually eat it. But uh, blood worms usually work the best because all fish love blood worms. So, but at the same time, we're gonna treat with this in the tank. You don't mix this in the food. I mean, I, you probably could, but I mean, because there's some of the, the stuff that's in here is in here. But also you can treat this in the tank. I've even poured it in the food too. But this is how you treat internal parasites with these two and the garlic is for the flavor. But like I say though, before you go treating with salt or medication, please try to just treat with uh, water changes, keeping them stress free and salt. I promise you, salt is so amazing when it comes to keeping your fish happy and helping them heal. Uh, basically your fish just like us have to regulate how much salt's going through their body. But if they're sick or stressed, it's too much for them to do that and try to heal up from whatever they're sick from or whatever parasites is trying to feed off of them. So please try and uh, do only salt first. So I mean, the best thing you can do is keep a fish from being stressed. I guess you could say, how you know if a fish is stressed? Well, it's real easy. If they, look, if they look like this, they're probably not too stressed. But uh, that guy, he always tries to take over the whole tank. He usually looks better, but they just woke up. Probably gonna have to feed them now. But yeah, basically what I want you to get from this, what my opinion is and what I do, and I get fish in like every week or two weeks, is uh, 
I try to just put them in a tank by themselves or with each other, all the new fish. Make sure it's cycled. Uh, make sure you try to only treat with salt and temperature. Uh, make sure your fish are okay with salt. I'm talking about mainly cichlids. They're, they're perfectly fine with salt, but and then if things get pretty bad and they're not eating or you notice something visibly, then go to some medication because you don't want to use medication, not just because of money, but it's really not good, just like with us. I mean, I know some people think doctors are really trying to save us and give us the best medication, but in reality, I, I wouldn't trust that stuff. But this stuff is uh, pretty good, so basically, uh, gill and skin flukes which I don't think you're not going to see with the naked eye there's a, there's a fish doctor on YouTube he actually shows you on the microscope what them gill flukes look like then you got swollen abdomen it's pretty self explanatory uh, wasting disease that's why I don't even know what that is and then hole in the head very common in Oscars and South American cichlids uh, so and they do make another box uh, for other stuff like a cloudy eye and, but like I say though I mean I promise you, the salt is so important because it can regulate the fish's salt and whatever. It can help them focus on healing or their immune system actually fighting what's the problem. And they don't have to just focus on, they can just focus on that and not also trying to regulate how much salt and stuff is staying in their system. So yeah, I mean, I, I know I'm not too technical here, here but I'm just bored and... Uh, kind of just want to make a YouTube video with the fish but yeah subscribe hopefully you do and help me out and if you have only five people subscribe and out of those five people there's a good chance I'm probably gonna give all five a credit of some sort on my on my website you know and basically that's like a free fish not just a free goldfish that's actually like a you know maybe you like five, my Luna 500s or you like uh, deep water halves or I don't know why these guys people don't really know much about them but they're <laughs> growing up they were common to me but uh yeah it's just one of my tanks but I love the dolphins I used to have like 30 dolphins I, I don't know why I sold some of them but and I did and then they start fighting all the time but anyway yeah so uh if you do subscribe thank you try not to bash me too much in the comments and uh yeah have a good one